Now I will discuss about the nomenclature of restriction enzyme. So as for example, here three different restriction enzymes are present. That is the ECOR1, BAMH1 and HIN D3. Okay, and the organisms from which these restriction enzymes are isolated that are the Escherichia coli for ECOR1 and Bacillus amyloliquefaciens for BAMH1 and Haemophilus influenzae for HIN D3. Okay, and these are the recognition sequence for this restriction enzymes. Okay, so now, so now the question is what this name of this restriction enzyme signify. So now at first, the first name, so now I want to define the significance of this name. Okay, so that is the nomenclature. Okay, so at first, the first capital letter, what this first capital letter signify? This first capital letter that is for equal one, that is E for damage one for B and in D3 for H. Okay, so what this capital letter signify? This capital letter signify the genus name of the organism from which these restriction enzymes are isolated. So for ECOR1, the organism is Escherichia coli and the genus name of this Escherichia coli is Escherichia and the first letter of this genus name is E. So this E signify the Escherichia. For BAMH1, the B stands for the Bacillus. That is the genus name. So the B stands for Bacillus and here H for Haemophilus. Okay, so H is Haemophilus. So the first name, so let me write the, the first capital letter signify the genus, genus name of the organism from which these restriction enzymes are isolated. Okay, so now, so so this is done and now the second two small letter so now what this what this second two small letter signify the second two small letter signify the species from which the restriction enzymes are isolated so the second second small letter Second, two small letter signify the species name. Species name, okay? So here for eco R1, the species name is coli. So the first two word is CO. So here the CO is present. And for BAMH1, the species name is amyloliquefaciens. So the first two is AM. Here. AM is present for HIN3 that is the species name is influenzae that is IN so here the IN is present so the second so second two letter second two small letters signify the species name okay so now what this third name signify this third word this third letter signify the strain from which this from which this restriction is isolated that means the organism the which type of strain of these organisms from which the this restriction enzymes are isolated okay so for Escherichia coli this r from the r strain of Escherichia coli this restriction enzyme is isolated so let me write the third letter signify the signify the strain name strain name okay so for bam h1 the h from the h strain of bacillus amyloliquefaciens the bam h1 restriction enzyme is isolated 
So that's why the H. And for D, the hemophil the D strain of hemophilus influenzae, this in D3 restriction enzyme is isolated. So now the last number that is here for eco R1 that is 1 for damage 1 for 1 and for him D3 that is 3. So what this number signify? This number signify the order of identification of this enzyme. So let me write the fourth the fourth number signify the order of identification of the enzyme okay so that means so for eco r1 this number is 1 so the in in the strain of r of eco eco for the strain of r of equally the eco r1 restriction enzyme is first discovered that means the eco r1 restriction enzyme is first discovered in r strain of equally so here in hin d3 the hin d3 restriction enzyme is discovered from the d strain of hemophilus influenzae in the third time okay so the this fourth fourth number is signify the order of identification of the restriction enzyme okay so in the whole at first the capital letter signify the genus name then the small two letter signify the species name then the r so sorry then the this letter signify then the next letter signify the strain name and the fourth number signify the order of identification of the enzyme okay so this is the whole nomenclature of the restriction enzyme